Hey YouTube, it's Mandak coming at you guys with another haul video. So welcome into haul video number 54. Um, Happy New Year to all you guys. Hope you had a great New Year. Uh, and yeah, uh, this is going to be an eclectic haul video actually. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I received from my girlfriend's family for Christmas. As well as my, as well as my girlfriend as well. And uh, have some comic books, have some Legos I picked up, um, just some other things I'm going to be using in my office at work and stuff like that. So a little mix of everything, so um, we'll get into it. But first thing I want to do before I get into my haul is talk about what I've been reading this week. So I'm about halfway through the um, New Mutants Demon Bear Saga um, Epic Collection. I think I talked about that last podcast. But anyways, since then, I've actually gotten into the Bill Sinkovich. I think that's either that or Sinkovich. I think it's Sinkovich. Um, art and the storyline of Demon Bear. I actually just got past it, I believe. Um, really great stuff, guys. Highly recommend it. The art is amazing. Chris Claremont's writing, amazing as always. So really excited to keep reading this book. And um, I'm reading like a double-sized issue right now. I'm not sure if it's like 20 or 21 or something. But uh, anyways, I'll probably keep you guys updated on that as I read it. But really, really, really enjoying that epic collection. Um, nothing against John Buscema's artwork, but uh, yeah, it was really cool to get that that change up. It's just really a much different art style that I'm not used to seeing. But really excited to see how it goes. So I'll keep you posted. Uh, but anyways, guys, we'll get into the haul t today. So just one quick thing I want to shout out for because... I know I talked about last haul video, but since my last haul video, I actually was able to get a frame for um, Teresa Reagan's art. Um, so I will put a link again for her art in the description. She made this for me for a pretty fair price, and it's it's one of a kind, right? I mean, this is all done by her. Um, really, really cool stuff. I'm really excited to put this with the rest of my Iron Man collection, and um, obviously. Did not come with the frame, I bought the frame, but you can just see how nice it looks in the frame. I'm really excited to display this and show it off, but I figured I'd show it in the frame because it just makes it look that much better. So again, uh, I believe the name of the profile is Tessa, T-E-S-S-A, Art. And again, I'll be putting the link in the description. So uh, she does take commissions, so if you're looking for anything in particular, I'm sure she's more than willing to make it for you. So. Really excited. Uh, thank you again, Teresa. Really appreciate that. All right, so there's that. Um, just some other stuff that I got from the family, um, my girlfriend's family for Christmas, um, is another piece of art. Um, this is actually from Teresa as well. <laughs> and this is uh, The Empire Strikes Back. So really, really excited. Um, it's a little like canvas print kind of thing. Really cool. Um, I am definitely going to try to bring this to work with me and hang it up somewhere. I just have to find a command hook to hang this up with. So, really cool. Um, this is by far one of my favorite posters <laughs> of any Star Wars film. And just really excited to have it in this like nice canvas print. I believe I, I remember seeing these for a while at like um, Bed, Bath & Beyond, Bed Bath & Beyond and stuff. Never pulled the trigger on buying one. And I looked online a few years ago and they're like really expensive. So really cool to actually get one of these um so yeah i'll be ha i'll be bringing that to work tomorrow with me actually <laughs> so i'll find a i think i know a good place to hang it up in my office so we'll see how it goes but fingers crossed um another thing i'm gonna bring to my office i actually bought this myself and um i'm looking for a new wall calendar for 2021 and found this one at staples for 15 bucks um it's kind of cool because it has like artwork from the movie or um, f shots from the movie but it also has like artwork and inspiration and stuff from, you know, from the original like concept art for the film. So you can see here the X wings, you know, Darth Vader and his Tie Fighter, different pieces of artwork. So really cool. Uh, I needed a new calendar, like I said, for my office. So I decided to get that one. Fifteen bucks, like I said, Staples. Um, nothing too bad. Keep it with the Star Wars theme. Um, I also got this poster from my um, girlfriend's sister and you can see here what that looks like it is it's kind of hard to show on on camera here but um you can see here it's the episode four uh original artwork so 
really cool. I have to find a place now to put this in my room here, and I think I do have a good place to put it. So I'm gonna try to hang it up tonight. So really excited. Thank you so much, Alicia and Adam, for getting this for me. I really appreciate that. So we'll have to see where it is. Obviously, I'm always down for more posters. I have plenty of posters, as you can see around me, and what I'm looking at um, here as well. Maybe this year I'll do a, a new tour of my room so I can kind of update you guys on where I'm at with that. But anyways, that's that. Just some other things that I got um, for for like, you know, obviously my my um, my girlfriend and I are, are into cooking a lot. So um, her sister got me some cooking stuff as well. So I got this like guitar uh, uh, wooden spoon. So really cool. Uh, my, when I showed this to my mom, she was like, oh my god, it's so cool. But yeah, excuse me. Um, yeah, really, really excited to get this. This is really unique and pretty cool. So I'm really excited to cook some stuff with this. I'm all, I'm all about wooden, um, wooden cookware. I like that stuff. So that's that. I'll put that over here so I don't mistake anything. Um, next thing I have here is some more <laughs> uh, ice cube trays. So this one is actually... Han Solo and Carbonite. So really, really excited to use these. Um, they actually got me the Lego ice cube trays a few months ago. So really cool to have an, another kind of funny ice cube tray to use. But um, yeah, definitely we'll be using these. Thank you so much again. Really appreciate this. Um, kind of funny to see like the Han Solo and Carbonite. So that's that. Um, buh, 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 buh. Sticking with some more Star Wars stuff. I also got Star Wars 12 Days of Socks, so <laughs> really excited. Um, I'm huge into, I love socks. Um, so my sister, um, my sister actually got me like all these like Marvel socks for Christmas. So I got a bunch more socks here now to use. So there's like tube socks and they also have like the smaller ones to use for like the summer, I guess. So really excited to have it. Um, I go through socks all the time, so it's really nice to like have more socks to use but this box is really nice too I like this way this box looks so definitely we'll be taking these out and washing them and then using them so thank you so much again Alicia and Adam really appreciate that okay um, I'll keep all that stuff together so a very special gift that um, my girlfriend got me as well is a so like I mentioned before her and I like to cook a lot and since we started dating, we've been making a lot of recipes, and she actually went through and made this cookbook um, of all of the recipes that we've made. So you can kind of see here what some of those look like. Um, got the quesadilla. Um, you got some shrimp scampi going on here. So really, really excited. Um, yeah, this is really special. Um, we actually just made a recipe this, uh, this past weekend, so I'm probably going to have to go in here and write it. So I might type it up and have her write it in because I my handwriting's awful. <laughs> so I'll probably be asking for her writing duties or writing skills um, come next weekend. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is really special. Uh, you know, for for uh, uh, Christmas Christmas this year, I actually did get a bunch of cookbooks. I actually did get one from Teresa that I actually don't have with me right now because I put it over with the bookshelf of all my other cookbooks. So I'm sorry I didn't include that in here, but yeah, I also got that. So really excited to hopefully use some of those recipes and start making some new food creations. Um, cooking was definitely one thing that I was never expecting to get into doing until I met Monica. And honestly, it's it's been really cool. Uh, it's been cool to you know kind of do that with her and share that um, that time with her. Cooking's a really therapeutic thing, and obviously, food always tastes better when you cook it. So uh, there's that. But anyways, um, I will see. Let's see. What should I get into first? I guess I'll get into the, the comics first. So I did get one of my three in stock trades orders that orders that I made in December. Uh, the other two, I have no idea where they're at yet. So I kind of have to check that tonight because one of them is going on almost a month since I ordered it. So kind of want to check in and see what's going on. Uh, the order that came was actually the second one that I ordered in December, believe it or not. So that's a little strange. Um, I also did get some stuff from Second and Charles as well. 
So I met up with my friend over there. We went to Second and Charles and got some comics. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, just stuff from that those two places. So uh, the first book I will show here was one that I was so excited to find. Um, it was something that I was really looking forward to reading ever since I was recommended recommended it from my friend Mike over on Crackle Comics. Um, I actually was recommended it after I read Essex County by Jeff Lemire. And uh, I was looking up around the store, couldn't find it, and then I went to this, like, just bought back rack, and I found it for uh, 10 bucks. I'm like, boom, I'm getting it, because it's 20 bucks online, and that is Blankets. So really, really excited to land this for 10 bucks. Um, you really can't beat that price, honestly. 11 bucks, excuse me. But you can kind of just see here what the inside looks like. So really, really excited to use the, read this and kind of see what it's all about. My friend told me that it's really good. Again, Mike couldn't recommend it enough. So really, really excited to read Blankets. And um, this seems like the perfect book to read in the winter, it looks like. So maybe after I'm done with my New Mutants reading, I will go to this. So we'll see how that looks. So this just collects, I think, the full story. There's no, like, you know, I don't think there's any volumes or different issues or whatever. It's just one complete story. So we'll see how it goes. I love it already. So it's all black and white, too. So just for anyone who needs to be aware of that. All right. Next book I bought here was another book at Second and Charles. It was a book that... I had on my IST wish list for a while and suddenly it disappeared and I realized that it was out of stock. So then I was like, oh shoot, I better buy this before it goes up in price a lot. And that is Gotham Central Volume 3. So I have Volumes 1 and 2. Um, probably will be buying Volume 4 soon so that way I don't get screwed out of losing that Volume 2. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is written by Ed Brubaker, art by Greg Rucka. Um, or maybe it's, maybe it's written by both of them. I don't know, Mark. Michael Lark, Stefan, Stefano Guardino. So this collects, um, I don't know what issues this collects. Let's see. The art in here is fantastic though. I'm really, really excited to read this. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. This collects Gotham Central 23 through 31. So you can see here what that spine looks like on the back. For some reason, this came with like some type of dirt on it or whatever, and my girlfriend and I spent like ten minutes trying to clean up all clean clean it up because it was just so dirty and gross. So, really excited to get that cleaned up and working now. <laughs> so there's that. Next three books here actually came from In Stock Trade. This was one of the In Stock Trades orders that I made, and the first one here I have is a Southern Bastards Volume Three. So. Really excited to get this. I think I only have one more volume left, and I think I might have already ordered it with my last IST order that I made. But, um, yeah. So, Jason Aaron, Jason Latour. Jason Latour, um, I guess, in terms of Marvel, was known for his work with Spider-Gwen. So, there's that. So, really excited to read this. More um, indie stuff, image stuff as well, to kind of read as well. So... There's that. Really excited to get that. Um, some epic collections that I picked up. Uh, so new ones came out recently that I'm really excited for. There's one that I'm really excited for that still hasn't been shipped to me and I'm still waiting for, but I won't spoil it here because I'm going to put it in a separate haul video. But um, first one here, I'm going to sneeze real quick. <coughs> oh, I don't like sneezing on camera. Am I right? I feel like I do that like at least like once every 10 videos or something. But... Anyway, first one I have here is the Last Rites Daredevil Epic Collection. So this is written by um, Anna Senti, Wright, uh, Chester Lee Weeks, I believe. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's who it is. Um, but yeah, uh, this collects issues 283 through 300 of Daredevil and annual number 7. So um, this collects 1990 through 92 of Daredevil as well. So, so yeah, this is Anna Senti's run, um, I guess part of it, if not all of it, or a chunk of it, but I've heard only really good things about her run, so 
and for a while there it was kind of hard to collect so really excited to see that they've put this epic collection out and um i believe there's one that's out of print that i missed out on which i still need to get i can't for the life of me remember what it is but i do need to get it at some point and um i hope i'm sure they'll probably reprint it at some point but uh yeah another good chunk of daredevil stuff to own this book looks amazing too by the way great cover choice by marvel on that one okay next book i have here another epic collection and uh this one is again one of a character that i slowly have accumulated so many epics of and i've not read one since and uh it's getting to the point now where i'm pretty much piecing together like straight 100 120 issue straight runs of of books to, of you know material to read and this continues that and this is um captain america monsters and men so this collects uh Demetrius, um, part of his run, uh, Zex the artist on this. So really excited to see that work there. Zex a pretty good artist, so really cool to see that. Um, interesting choice of cover, I think here, but I like it though. So this collects. Sorry, I should have said this. This is volume ten of Captain America. This collects eighty two through eighty three of the character. And uh, this collects, or 19, the, the years 1982 and 1983. Um, this collects Captain America numbers, nine, numbers uh, 267 through 285, Annual number 6, and Defenders 106. So, um, yeah, really, really excited to read this. So you can kind of see here what that looks like. So, boom, Captain America. Looking forward to reading that. Um... Yeah, that Captain America shelf is pretty filled up now, so they might have to push some stuff over. We'll see how it goes, but fingers crossed. All right. Um, some other Volume 1 stuff that of Image Trades uh, or Vertigo that I have not um, read yet, but I want to start collecting. Uh, first one here is Deadly Class. So I believe a TV show came out for this. I'm not sure if it's getting a second season or not. But, um, yeah, I've heard really good things about this. And... Uh, really excited to read it so i remember my, my one friend describing it as like x-men but with assassins instead of like heroes <laughs> so i don't know if it's really that simple but um we'll give it a shot and we'll see how it goes so fingers crossed um next book i got here i got this for 10 bucks and i've heard really good things about it again uh, like most of these books uh this is garth ennis's kind of like notable independent stuff and that is Preacher, Volume 1, uh, also featuring Steve Dillon on art. So uh, this collects issues 1 through 12 of the Garth Ennis series. So now I'm down the rabbit hole of collecting Preacher. So I don't think it's really tough to collect. Uh, this is a nice paperback, though. 12, I mean, 12 issues for 10 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. And uh, really excited to read this. this. This looks like some pretty good art going on here. This seems like something that I would really like to get into. So... There's Preacher, Volume 1. Um, just some other image trades that my friend that I was with, actually, um, he kind of convinced me on buying, and it's more Jeff Lemire stuff, uh, and this is Gideon Falls, Volume 1, The Black Barn. So I don't know much about this, but uh, willing to find out. Always willing to, to discover and branch out and learn new stuff. Got this for $5. Again, that also makes it kind of easy to want to just invest the time in it so excuse me uh, pretty interesting art style here it looks kind of photorealistic but it has like some some weird texture going on here so we'll kind of see how that turns out but um yeah there's that we'll see what this is all about can't wait looks like people are wearing masks in that um book so looks like they're Keep up with our own society. We'll see. <laughs> um, this next one here is, I guess, known as Die Fantasy Heartbreaker. Um, yeah, Volume One Fantasy Heartbreaker. So the book's called Die. This is by, I guess, Karen Gillen. I want to assume. So, one of the quotes I'll read it for you guys down here it says, "A deliciously dark Phantom Tollbooth like journey." Told through a lens of broken humanity and a deconstruction of the role-playing game's roots. 
I am entranced. So yeah, I think I remember like, yeah, this is like kind of like a uh, fantasy like role playing game that is like in real life or something. So really excited to read this and find out what this is all about. Um, never heard of it before my friend showed it to me. So I mean, again, for five bucks, I'm willing to give it a try. It looks like it's pretty good. Um, so we'll, we'll try it. I'm always looking to try new things now. So, I mean, shit, about a year, a year ago, I wouldn't say, that I, I wouldn't, it'd be, t I would be, it'd be weird to, to say that I was um, cooking and I guess that's what's great about, you know, uh, meeting people and having a girlfriend sometimes that you get to branch out and do new things. Same thing with comics. I'm, I'm branching out and doing new things as well. So, uh, yeah, it's all about personal growth, I guess. We'll see. Thoughtful thing aside, I will get into some of the Legos that I got for Christmas. So the first set I got here was actually from my girlfriend for Christmas. And uh, for a while there, I was not going to buy this. I just kept putting it off. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I should buy this myself. Because um, I don't know. I just, I was thinking about buying it, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if, I, I don't know if, if like, you know, 60 bucks is a lot to pay for this. And I was like, I don't know if I would like it. Um, but the more I kept looking at it, the more it kept growing on me and I, I, I started liking it. And like, I feel like every time I was at looking at the Mario section at like stores and my girlfriend was kind of like trying to shoot me away from it. I don't know. Not really. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, she ended up buying me the starter pack for, oh, maybe I would help if I put it the right way. She got me the starter pack for the um, Mario Lego sets. So this is really, really exciting. Um, now I am down the rabbit hole of collecting all of the Lego Mario sets. Um, so really excited to get that. I know there's like a $100 one out there, like Bowser's Castle or something. So I, the, the biggest thing for me is going to be figuring out where to put all this. I think I might just buy them myself like a little like collapsible table just so I can like sell these up for a little bit or whatever, or maybe put them up here on my shelf. We'll see. But I mean, the Mario character obviously is the, is the pool to this set. Um, this is the set. This is the only set that he comes in as of the recording of this video. So that's why this set is so highly sought after. And I'm really, really excited to get this. Thank you again, Monica. Um, this is probably one of the best Christmas gifts I've gotten. Um, and uh, you can see here what, you know, Bowser Jr. and all that stuff looks like. So there's that. Can't wait. Look, there's still some wrapping paper on it. What the heck, Dan? There you go. Sorry, I had some wrapping paper on still. <laughs> but yeah, I might take this out tonight or some other night. Maybe I'll wait till she gets here. We can open it up together. We'll see. So yeah, there's that. And like I said, there's a bunch of expansion packs with this set. So she did actually buy me an expansion pack too. So really excited to get that. And that is this one right here with the Koopa and the Piranha plants. So really, really excited to get that. Can't wait to see how this links up with the other one. I really like this one though, because it does come with the Koopa. So that's a really cool like addition there. Um, I do want to get the one with Yoshi's house, because I think that's really cute, cool too. I think that's the only one where Yoshi appears in. So we'll see how like these little things interact and everything. It's going to be really interesting to set all this up and see how it looks. So yeah, there's that one right there as well. Okay. Oh. One other set I want to go over as well. I got this from Alicia and Adam, um, Monica's sister and brother-in-law. And um, that is the uh, uh, Lego ornaments from this year. And I didn't buy these because I was on a hiatus for November. I didn't buy them before November and they sold out. <laughs> so by the time the summer rolled around, I couldn't buy them. And I was kind of mad because like, I was like, oh, I want to get those to hang up on my tree. Like that would have been cool. So they bought these for me. I'm really, really happy to get these. Thank you so much again for finding these. Um, honestly, I'm really tempted to keep these sealed for now because obviously Christmas is over, but I do want to put these with the rest of my decorations that I have for Christmas and definitely open them up next year and build them and put them on my tree. So you can kind of see here, there's like a little reindeer and a snowman. So really cool to get that. It comes as a little cute little box. So yeah, really cool for that. Really cool to get that set. So again, I'm just going to keep that sealed and save it for next year's Christmas, but really excited to build that for next year. So, And the last set that I bought was one that I bought because it was on sale and uh, 
I had a coupon for Target, so even more sales. And um, I have another big set come from Target.com. Should be here, I think, this Thursday. So be on the lookout for that in the next haul video. But um, this one I bought, like I said, it was on sale. Original price was 70 bucks for this, and it was way too much at the time. I was like immediately like, nope, not buying that. Even if it, even be, even if it was Lego Star Wars, I still would not buy it for 70 bucks. And um, that is the Lego Do set. So, like I said, originally 70. Sale for at the time when I bought it was 55 dollars, I believe, 56. And I had a $10 off coupon, so I essentially paid 45 bucks for this. And honestly, that's worth it because 519 pieces, definitely a lot better price ratio. This honestly should have been 50, 60 bucks. Uh, at the, 60 bucks at the most. No way should this have been 70 bucks. Um, but main reason why I bought this is because I had BB-8, so it would be nice to put them both next to each other and have that little collection going. I unfortunately missed the bus way longer way long ago for r2d2 so i probably won't be able to do that unless they re-release a set or they make a new one new buildable character for r2d2 i don't really feel like buying that booster booster set that's like 200 dollars, and the only one i want is r2d2 um but yeah so again really excited to get this though i mean from what i've been from what i've heard from what i've heard excuse me the building techniques in the set are really really intricate so I'm excited to see how kind of how that works out. But same setup here, uh, same thing as most of the buildable characters. They all have really the same setup with the with the data plate and stuff. So really excited to dig my hands into building this at some point, and uh, we'll see. Looks very underwhelming, doesn't it? <laughs> most people are looking at this being like, "Who is Dio?" <laughs> very, I would say, kind of forgettable character. Doesn't really do much in Rise of Skywalker, but. Um, yeah, anyways, guys, that is my haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, like I said, next haul video, I'll probably have some more comics, but, uh, for all the people who said that I don't do any comics in my haul video anymore, well, I gave you some comics this time, so hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, I hope you guys have a great new year. Hope it's better than 2020. I think everyone hopes that that's true, but, uh, anyways, guys, I will see you on the flip side. Have a great week.